basically so i'm just gonna use http context dot sessions dot set string so set string is not present uh, Hi guys, what's up? My name is Saurav and welcome to another video of Element Solutions. And this video I'm going to show you how you can use sessions in ASP.NET Core. So I'm just going to open Visual Studio. I'm just going to create a new project. And I'm just going to use MVC over here. That will be uh, uh, sessions. And click next. And now I'm just going to click create. And to use session in ASP.NET Core, all we have to do is that we have to install a package and our solution. So I'm just going to click manage new kit package. And here we just have to go to browse. And here we just have to search ASP.NET Core sessions. And this is the package that we need to install in the uh, application. So I'm just going to click on install. And I accept and from here you can see that the package installed and it is finished so now i'm just gonna click on go to startup file over here and i'm just gonna configure services within this configure services so i'm just gonna write services dot add sessions and in the middleware section we also have to add basically sessions so i'm just gonna click app dot use session and we are all set to use sessions in our application so for now i'm just going to uh, home controller over here and in the index page i'm just gonna create a session i'm just going to set a string basically so i'm just gonna use http context dot sessions dot set string so set string is not present uh, in the namespace so i'm just gonna add a new namespace over here that is basically aspnetcore.http and here we're gonna just pass a string that we're gonna use in the entire session basically so for example i'm just gonna choose username and here we can just pass whatever that we want to store in this session basically for example string i'm just gonna click name is equal to and uh, sort of let's say and this name i'm just gonna store in username and now in order to get the string i'm just gonna click write http context dot session dot get string and we're gonna use the same name that we have used while setting the string that is username and i'm just gonna store it within a view bag so that we can pass it to the view basically that is i'm just gonna name it as username and once we done with this i'm just gonna pass it to the view So I'm just going to remove everything over here and I'm just going to paste it here. And now if I save everything and hit the application, I'm just going to put a breakpoint over here and I'm just going to start the application. And now if I debug it, you can see it over here. The name is coming as sorrow and we are setting this string to the username over here the sessions and uh, as you can see that sorrow is set and uh, we are getting this username from those sessions that we have configured and if you return to the view you can see that we're getting this sorrow so this is how you can use the uh, sessions in ASP.NET core guys so that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful to you so don't, so don't forget to like subscribe until sorrow we will stay happy and love to learn new life hacks regarding technical difficulties bye bye